I'm Ryan Songalia, sports editor of Rappler.com. From now until May 2nd, Rappler will bring you weekly highlights leading up to the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. The headlines this week. Mayweather picks two Southpaw veterans as sparring partners. The two world-class fighters face off Wednesday in a kickoff conference in Los Angeles and sparks are expected to fly. Pro boxers and former foes give their predictions. Who will win between Pacquiao and Mayweather? Both Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. are one week into training for their May 2nd fight at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Pacquiao was reunited with trainer Freddie Roach after completing the first week of camp under assistant trainer Boo Boy Fernandez. There have been issues in the past where a lot of uh, craziness has gone on in the gym as far as crowds. Will you be locking down the gym for this training camp? Nobody's going to get my strategy um, unless I want them to. You know, it's just we're, we're locking down the wild card completely, yes. Roach arrived back in Los Angeles after a not so successful trip to Macau. His boxer, Chinese fighter Zhu Ming, lost a decision to IBF flyweight title holder I'm Not Ruin Wrong. Pacquiao's sparring partners also arrived this week, Kenneth Sims Jr. and Rashidi Ellis. Both Sims and Ellis are 21-year-olds with little experience under their belt. Mayweather, on the other hand, is going with two experienced names, former world champion Zab Judah and Demarcus Corley. Judah, 37, and Corley, 40, are southpaws who fought Mayweather about a decade ago. Corley is a former WBO junior welterweight champion, while Judah is a former junior welterweight and welterweight champion. Ironically, Judah and Corley both had success in spots against Mayweather at a time when no one was succeeding against him. In contrast, Sims Jr. and Ellis are boxers fighting at the four and six round level. Their records illustrate the gap in experience. Who are the better sparring partners? Young and dying to prove themselves or old and experienced? Pacquiao has been diligent about posting videos of his training on Instagram, which must be reassuring to fans. We know he hasn't missed any runs, as he has in the past. We're days away from the only time Pacquiao and Mayweather will meet face-to-face -face before fight week. The press conference takes place Wednesday afternoon at the Nokia Theater, or Thursday morning beginning at 2 a.m. in Manila. Rappler will of course bring you a live blog of the events, as well as stories from all sides. There's a lot of intrigue heading into this event, and with only one tour stop, you have to expect that this will not be as simple as a couple of photo opportunities. Looking back at press conferences for the biggest fights of recent memory, like Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya and Mike Tyson versus Lennox Lewis, the occasion brings something out of the participants. I've yet to see either Pacquiao or Mayweather throw a punch at a press conference, and I don't expect to see one here. But this will be one of the first occasions where an opponent trash talks Pacquiao to his face will be interesting to see how he handles that one. It seems everybody in the boxing world has an opinion on the fight. One of the more interesting ones so far comes from Miguel Cotto, who fought Pacquiao in 2009 and Mayweather in 2012. Cotto initially shied away from a pick, but now says Pacquiao will win a decision. It's noteworthy that Pacquiao and Cotto also share a trainer in Roach. It would have been awkward for Cotto to show up at the gym after voting against his gym mate. Shay Mosley, who also fought both guys, is picking Mayweather by decision, saying, The better technician will be Floyd Mayweather, and Mayweather has been fighting a lot more on the inside and throwing harder shots, and I don't think people realize that Mayweather does have a little bit of power. Mosley actually hurt Mayweather more than anyone I'd ever seen, but failed to follow up and lost a decision. Pacquiao fought Mosley shortly after that, dropped Mosley, and won on points. Lastly, there's Antonio Tarver. He ended the invincibility streak of the previous generation's greatest talent, Roy Jones Jr. Tarver warns Mayweather, Pacquiao can be dangerous. Tarver, a southpaw like Pacquiao, says, Pacquiao is a tremendous southpaw, something that Floyd Mayweather hasn't seen a whole lot of, and Pacquiao is moving at light speed. We've heard from some of the experts, now let's hear from you. Who do you have winning this fight? Let us know in the comments section. Rappler will be bringing you updates each week as we count down to the fight of this century so far on May 2nd. Make sure to tune in and follow along. Until next time, take care.